Hi guys, so I just got home from work. On my way home from work, I went to Trader Joe's and I got some new stuff. So if you saw my last uh, new item Trader Joe's video, I'm actually going to film the last review, the last product that I have to review right after I finish filming this. So that one was up on my channel already. You might have seen it already. Um, this one is obviously up now. And then in the checkout line, you know how they have that end cap with all the fancy new products. Um, there was a ton of stuff on that shelf that I didn't even have room in my cart for it. So I'll probably end up going back within the next few days and you'll probably see a new, another new Trader Joe's item video within the next couple of weeks. So I'm gonna hurry up and show you what I got today so I can make dinner. Um, all of the stuff that I got today looks really good and I want to scrap my original dinner plans and just make this stuff instead, but I can't because I gotta finish that video. So let's get through this real quick. Um, watermelon, this is gone. As you can see, there's some juice in there. I might drink it. I don't know what it is, but there's something like this time of year, spring, summer, warm weather, if I see someone posting about watermelon, like a picture of watermelon or specifically eating watermelon on like Instagram stories, I immediately need to go get watermelon. So that's what I did. I didn't even want to mess with getting a whole watermelon. I just needed the like cut pieces to eat it right away. And it was very satisfying and refreshing. Obviously there's nothing new though about watermelon. Um, that was just on top and I needed to throw it away. So I'm gonna show you the new products first. How about that? Cause I did get some like staple boring stuff. So I'll show you the new stuff first, just in case you don't wanna watch the rest of it. So I got these non-dairy frozen dessert chocolate fudge oat bars. Um, it includes four bars that are gluten-free and vegan. This is what the box looks like, and it says these fudgy bars are a delicious gluten-free and vegan version of the nostalgic treat that comes with the memories, but not the dairy. Chocolatey, silky, and satisfying. These are sure to be a hit for all ages. <laughs> I like how it says, you know, sometimes like serving sizes, they'll t they'll like assume, they'll give you like the serving size calories or whatever, but then they also low key assume that you're gonna eat the whole container. Like I've noticed like it's common that they'll do that on like chips and stuff like that. If it's not the tiny size bag, but it's not like the full family size bag, they'll like assume that you're gonna eat the whole thing, like the medium size bag, I guess. Anyway, but the reason I brought that up is it says it's 100 calories per bar and 380 per container. So just in case you are in the mood to eat four fudgesicle bars, I was gonna open it and show you what they look like, but they are in um, solid, non-transparent, like wrapping okay i also got this mango jicama slaw and i actually saw this i saw this last time when i was grabbing items for the video i just mentioned and i didn't get it because like i can't really see myself just sitting and eating this like as a salad or a snack or whatever so the ingredients are pretty straightforward it's just mango jicama green cabbage the dressing and cilantro so now that the weather is like getting pretty hot i got this thinking that i will probably use it as a side dish i'll just prepare it and then like have it on the side with like my lunches for maybe two or three days in a row. I feel like I should probably do it. Like I don't know how long it's gonna stay fresh. I feel like I should probably eat it within like two days just to be on the safe side. But it does sound pretty good. I mean, even when I saw it the first time and thought like it didn't seem like something I would eat in one sitting, like it still sounded good. So I think uh, we're gonna make it work. So this is what the jicama slaw looked like when I uh, took it out of the package and it was pretty good. I actually really liked it. Um, it was a little bit spicy. Um, I wouldn't call it spicy to the extent that like if you don't like spicy food, you won't like it, but it just had a little bit of a kick to it. Um, it was really good. It was really refreshing. I think I liked it more than I expected I was going to. Um, I served it with these Morning Star nuggets and some potatoes. It would go great with like barbecue, burgers, hot dogs, that kind of thing. I got this sweet basil foaming hand soap and the people in the checkout, like the Trader Joe's employees so that they have this in the back room or their break room or whatever. And they all said that it smelled really good. So I'm a big fan of the Mrs. Myers uh, basil hand soap. I've been using this for a while. So that one literally is pretty much empty. I did though adding water to it to try to stretch it out and um, it needs to, it's done. So I am interested to see how this one compares. This one I'm pretty excited about. Um, finally, some vegan salads. I feel like Trader Joe's, I don't know what it is. Like people think vegans eat salad, but apparently Trader Joe's does not think that because for some reason all of like the single serving and packaged salads like this, um, they are all, they all contain some kind of dairy, meat, egg, honey, like even the ones that you would think like definitely do not need it, they find a way to sneak it in. There's like some kind of egg in the dressing or some kind of dairy or something. I do kind of wish that they would offer more of the single serving salads because personally, like if I'm on the go in between clients or something like that, 
that's where I go. Like these bag salads aren't something that I'm gonna be buying as often probably because like if it's in a bag, that means I need to put it in a bowl, which means I'm probably at my house or somewhere where I have access to a bowl, which means I probably also have access to salad ingredients, which means I could probably just make my own salad. So like the grab and go ones, I feel like are just more practical. So in the last video that I mentioned, um, I also got the new vegan taco salad, which was pretty good. Um, so this is vegan ranch crunch salad. It also looks pretty good So I realized I also I just grabbed it because I saw the word vegan and I didn't actually know what was in it So it's green cabbage romaine lettuce crispy fried onions roasted sunflower kernels kale red cabbage carrots and Green onion with a vegan ranch dressing. So that's pretty basic. I mean, it sounds really good, but it's pretty basic So like I said, like if I was going to be eating this at home, I would probably just make it myself um, But I am interested to try what they came up with this salad ended up being a little bit boring, so I would say that if you want to make something like this, just buy the ingredients and make it yourself. Um, Trader Joe's does have onion straws, and now they have some like fried jalapeno pieces, so you could easily make something like this without having to buy the packaged version. I don't really need to say much about this, but I got this cucumber watermelon cooler, and I don't know if this is new. I actually am not 100% sure if I ever bought this before. If I have, it's been a while. I don't normally buy like bottled juices, but yeah, I'm like on a watermelon kick today, so I saw this on my way out and I had to get it. Okay, so this one I was pretty excited about, and I think um, I might actually dig into this before I make dinner just to do a little taste test. So it's Romesco dip. It says this bright and zesty Spanish inspired sauce is made with roasted red peppers, tomatoes, and crushed almonds used as a sauce or dip. Hopefully I can show you without spilling it. This is what it looks like. It's a really pretty color. And I'm going to try it with a carrot because that's literally what I bought these carrots for <laughs> to taste this dip. It actually kind of reminds me of the um, their roasted red pepper hummus. It's got a really similar flavor. But um, yeah, it's really freaking good. I would totally get this again. Glad I got it. I think I'm gonna try it with potatoes. I cannot wait to try it. That's like my go-to. I wanna try everything with potatoes. Okay, so I also got some frozen falafel and I cannot believe it's taken this long to find frozen falafel at Trader Joe's that is vegan. I don't know, this packaging looks familiar, but I think it just kind of reminds me like their chicken tenders, their vegan chicken tenders are in like a similar package with also with a yellow label, I think. So yeah, I'm pretty sure this is new. And even if it's not, I'm pretty sure that it's new to me. I don't think I've ever had this before. Um, I also noticed, I almost overlooked it because I had it in my head that Trader Joe's falafel is not vegan. But then I saw out of the corner of my eye, it says vegan right on the label. So I grabbed it and I'm looking forward to trying it. Okay, so these are the last two new items. This one is citrusy garlic, uh, Cuban style citrusy garlic seasoning. I've been seeing uh, Herbivore, uh, the Herbivore clothing company. They've been posting on Instagram. They, I mean, they're a clothing company, but they also kind of post a little behind the scenes stuff and like what they've been eating. Um, if you want to get meal ideas and stuff like that, they're a good account to follow. But um, they've been posting about this lately and I hadn't tried it yet. So I'm looking forward to trying this. I felt like I could trust their judgment. So if they're using a lot, it's probably good. And I'm gonna be trying to get back to more basic stuff with my cooking, like cheap, easy, boring, basic, like potatoes, um, just like starch, uh, I don't know. I haven't really strictly followed the starch solution, but kind of that idea of like starch and veggie. So yeah, when I'm sticking with basic stuff like that, I just, um, seasonings and sauces and stuff get exciting. So I also got this jalapeno sauce. Is that what it's called? That's literally what it's called. The spicy and flavorful sauce made with fresh jalapenos. I'm kind of curious how spicy this is going to be because the number one ingredient is jalapeno. It kind of looks like it would be like a creamy sauce, but I don't know if you can tell, but it's like kind of more liquidy. And aside from the jalapenos, it just has basically canola oil, onion, uh, sugar, spices, stuff like that. Okay, so that is all the new stuff that I got, but I'm still gonna show you the rest of the stuff. So I got a couple of cans of cat food uh, for Herschel. This isn't what he normally eats, but I'm thinking about changing his diet up a little bit. So I'm just trying to keep a couple of extra cans of random stuff on hand, um, just so I don't run out before I buy a new case. I got this uh, teriyaki baked tofu. This stuff is really good. I don't get it all the time, but it's nice to have on hand when I don't feel like making something. And I don't know, I'm curious, like, how do you guys eat this? I usually just kind of eat it by itself, um, or I'll make, like, a like a plate with, like, potatoes and veggies. Like, even though it's teriyaki flavor, it, does, it doesn't taste super teriyaki flavor to me, so I don't, I don't know, I don't usually use it in, like, Asian-style meals. I just kind of keep it pretty simple 
and just use it like any kind of like savory meat substitute. So on the back they have suggestions. They say stir fry with vegetables, serve over rice or pasta, slice thinly for sandwiches. It actually seems like it would be pretty good with sandwiches. I also got a pack of soy riso. Um, Trader Joe's is still my favorite brand of soy riso. I feel like adding this to whatever like starch and veggies you have um, just instantly makes it not boring. You can also uh, freeze it and then like take it out and use it later. You can do that. I've never done that, but I always say that I'm going to. Okay, so veggies, we got Brussels sprouts, we got broccoli, we got cruciferous crunch, which is my favorite salad mix. Okay, we're almost done. I got a pineapple, I got green beans. I don't usually get green beans, but I think I saw someone eating green beans and they <laughs> sounded good, so I got those. And then last but definitely not least, I got a bag of potatoes. I think this is three pounds. Yes, it's three pounds of potatoes. So they changed their packaging. Um, I think these used to be, yeah, they used to be in a plastic bag. Um, they also have some that are in that like netting. Um, so now they're in this paper bag, which is recyclable. And I kind of wasn't sure about that because a lot of times like stuff that comes in like a paper like box or bag but it has this plastic window that kind of makes it not recyclable. But it literally says on the bag that it's recyclable. So I think that it is. So that's it. My total for today was $61.34, which is a little bit higher than I probably would have liked to spend. Um, but I got like the, the baked tofu that's a little bit higher than just, you know, buying regular tofu and making it yourself. Um, and like the bad salad and stuff. The mango jicama slaw was five bucks. That might've also been why I didn't get it last time. But yeah, that is it for this video. Um, I didn't do reviews in this video, obviously, like I did the last one. Um, so go watch the last one if you wanna see some more like reviews of Trader Joe's vegan items. And follow me on Instagram at vegan.dynamite um, and I will post about this stuff as I eat my way through it. All right, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.